Hello and welcome to Caravan Salon 2021. This is a rocket camper and these are, I think it's a rather unusual type of camper van. I can see this camper van having a cult following before long, if it doesn't already have one. As I understand it, the company dates about 2019, maybe I've got this wrong. They were at Stuttgart January 2020 and so I sort of filmed a bit there and here I'm filming yet again. Right, so what we've got here, two in the Fiat Ducato, this one here is on an MAN. This is very much how I imagine German alternative living. I hope that doesn't sound negative in any way. Well, let's go and have a look. So there's two, these two, Rocket One and Rocket Mountain. The Rocket Mountain, as you can possibly tell, is on a four by four. Now, uh, alternative living. This to me is a bit like Berlin at the beginning of the 1980s. First time I went there, 1982. Uh, so it's got this layout here which is somewhat reminiscent of a I don't know how to put it absolutely alternative living okay so uh, bed at the back we've got the kitchen down here we've got the sink there the toilet is a porter thing down there somewhere the idea maybe was to sort of take kids and other and to sort of fit people into the van totally um, different type of layout and I can't even remember what was here before I closed it oh it was the it was the cooker well there's only one there was only one burner but that sort of fits in with the alternative uh, ideology that we've got here um, I was half expecting this to be solid wood although of course you can see it's uh, um, it's made up of uh, what do you call it in English on the word now um, laminate that's the word <laughs> You know, using more than one language. I did a video on this and then you start getting confused. Oh, I can't open that. So, what's in here? There you go, there's your toilet. Bit embarrassing, I think, in front of everybody. But anyway, that's just my opinion. Maybe I'm just too delicate. And there's the shower. And you can also take, stick the shower out so it's outside as well. Webast or heating, that doesn't quite fit in with my German alternative ideology there. And you might, might have thought they got one of these cheap uh, alternative heaters in here. Um, or you half imagine this one here to be one with a wood stove. The thing with the wood stove is though, if you do it yourself, you might be all right. But a company is trying to sell with wood stoves, it would never get past the German uh, certification uh, authority. You wouldn't, what, as in, in British English, well, British or UK would say the MOT certificate. Uh, it wouldn't, it wouldn't get it. Uh, what about that usual <laughs> place at the water tank? Hey, why not? I think it was put the hose through the there. We'll have a look at the outside on the way back. And it's got this these bags on the outside. Um, I think that's a, the idea. Is that you uh, take the bag with you? Uh, as and when you leave. I mean, there are the vans or uh, uh, kits which have this idea, you sort of fill up your bags at home and then you sort of put them somewhere in the van. Uh, I think this idea of hanging, having your uh, kitchen stuff hanging up like that as well. Yeah, once more, that is alternative living. One sensible thing that, that many vans don't provide you with is USBs next to the bed. Now, um, as we now know, we don't shouldn't be charging next to the bed, but most people probably still do it. And uh, there's a, a 12 volt, you put your converter in there and you can charge on that as well. And there's your lights, switches as well. And, and, uh, oh, look at this up here. This, I've often talked about this system, the Kipper system, which I'm a, they ought to put have me on their marketing department so I keep saying how good it is. But you know, you stick some clothes or something in there and, uh, well, that's extra uh, storage for you. Let's come around here to the front. Tiny table, which will move up. And 
a rather small entrance into the tent in the roof. I had a friend in Bayreuth. I met her in Madrid in 1986 and I stayed with her uh, later in the year. And she, to get hot water, she had to chop firewood up. And uh, so she needed the shower or something, chop the firewood up first, stick it in the, uh, the butt, whatever you call it, the furnace, and then the firewood, and then you have hot water. And uh, that, this is the sort of thing that reminds me of what she might have had then. Well, she'll now be in her 50s, and I don't suppose she's going to be doing that any longer. That's an unusual, I won't call it a double floor, though some companies would. Uh, um, anyway, you can also see that the chairs here will come out. What about the price? Oh dear, that is an alternative at all. 85,000 euros. And because of all this special equipment, 63,750. Let's have a look at the next two okay here's uh, also a rocket one and this thing here is going to cost seventy six and a half thousand and let's see if we can spot the difference well the first thing is there's no tent in the roof of course the tents in the roof are very expensive it doesn't matter how alternative you are a tent in the roof is going to cost a lot of money and if you are alternative or non-alternative then you know the supermarkets cost charge you the same all right what about this how does this come over oh that comes over like that you can even you can stick the you can stick your bed over your sink okay um let's now go and have a look at the rocket mountain sounds like the name of a song that one I'm going to Rocket Mountain, oh yeah. So, M-A-N. It's got a lot of stuff on the roof. I to think what this is going to be. Yeah, I was right to dread it. Look, 124,232. You could have two chairs up here, because obviously it's a modular look. And... Uh, Personally, I think that the MANs are slightly more difficult to build on than a Fiat Ducato. Oh, you've got plenty of space there, though, between the... Uh, yeah. So you've got... Uh, for your pans. Oops, just turned the lights off. I suppose, actually, that's a reasonably convenient place to have the light, because like, in bed, you can sort of reach over... Ho hopefully you haven't done any cooking in the previous hour so it'll be then it'll have cooled down okay then now let's have a walk around the outside hey. hello Okay, big uh, garage there, which presumably comes up. It'll come up if you unscrew it. Walk around here. I didn't show you the, the rear ends of the others as well, so I'll do that right now. I know that my viewers like to see a few rear ends from time to time. There you go, Frovi system. And I can see there's a way uh, extra storage through there. Let's come into the next one. And we'll now have a walk further down. Now, I know what you are thinking. You're thinking 125 euros for a van without a shower that's what you're thinking seeing how clever i am i can mind read even though you haven't seen the video yet and i haven't even finished doing it yet 
125,000 euros is a stack of cash. But you've got to bear in mind that these things are not produced for the masses. I don't know how, what their production rate is, but if they produce more than 50 in a year, I would be very, very surprised. I think it's probably going to be more like 20. I don't know. I'm just thinking that maybe they make millions. I don't know. But, well, I know they don't make millions. But, but uh, what does this mean? Uh, it means that it's for a very specific audience. The thing is, and I'm just now thinking demographics. You think people go out in a 4x4, four four, right? They may be looking for the tough life, you know, outdoors and uh, doing, you know, climbing up mountains and uh, shooting pandas and uh, whatever else they do. But, 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 the, uh, I think they're the sort of people who are probably also going to want to have a shower inside. That's how I feel anyway. Um, and you can be as alternative as you want, but you're just going to, you're also going to get dirty. So these are the things that I would say, uh, which I would, I, I may be my concerns, but then again, this camper van is not aimed at me. Um, okay, I think fancy a 4x4. Four four. Don't know if I have the courage to go completely off-road, sort of drive through the desert or something like that. But yes, I mean, if I had the resources, I possibly would want a 4x4. Four but um, I'm now at the sort of stage of life where I really do. I want a proper toilet and I want to have a proper shower and I want to be able to be clean. And that to me is, is, is really important, but it might not be important for everyone. So always remember when you see the bands, think that horses for courses and some things suit some people and other things don't. So we're all different. So that's important. So thanks so much for watching and uh, all the best from Dusseldorf Caravan Salon and uh, it's great to be for me to be here lots of my vans here some will be sort of cult vans like this one and others will be sort of boring vans like um, Shawson for example thank you